Hello everybody and welcome back to Sky Saga Alpha 10 and we are on my home island and today we are going to do some adventuring but first I need to have a quick chat to you guys because uh, the alpha is ending. In, in actual fact, not only is this alpha ending but the entire alpha phase is ending. So this is really, really exciting stuff. It means that Sky Saga is moving into the beta and we're moving into beta sometime next month as far as I can work out. Basically all we know at this stage is that on the 27th uh, the alpha is going to officially close and we're not going to be able to access the game until beta is released. Now we don't actually know at this point in time when the beta is going to be released. The devs haven't given any kind of details on that at this point in time. All they've said is that we won't be able to access the game until such time as the beta has been released. So uh, that is going to mean that there is going to be a small break between uh, videos and episodes here in Sky Saga because even if uh, Sky Saga is turn turning around and releasing within a week of closing the alpha, that's still a week where I don't have anything to do because of course all I do for you guys here on this channel is play Sky Saga. Uh, so I wanted to know what you guys want me to do during the downtime and I have a couple of ideas that we could go through and do. So we could either uh, go back and I could do like clip reels and highlights and things because I've been playing this game now for six alphas, seven alphas, and I have a lot of footage from this game. So I could go back and I could do kind of like highlight reels and kind of funny pieces and bloopers and that type of thing. Uh, if you guys want to see that, or I could go through and play a different game. Uh, so I could go through and play a bit of like modded Minecraft or something. I don't particularly like vanilla Minecraft, but modern Minecraft has always been loads of fun. And I mean, I haven't actually played Minecraft in a long time, so it could be quite interesting to jump back into that on camera and uh, see how everything goes. Uh, the other thing we could do is we could actually do some Sky Saga related uh, 3D printing and design work. So in the past, I've done some designs from the game. I've done some kind of like uh, badges and Sky Coins and other bits and pieces. Sky Coins were kind of what keystones are but in a previous alpha, and they, you didn't get them by crafting them each day. You kind of got them uh, from the mail each day, I think. It was kind of an interesting uh, interesting little experience, that one. But they're a really cool looking coin, and I designed some up and 3D printed them. So if you guys are keen for something like that, I really do actually want to go through and design up some of the really awesome items in this game. I've actually started on a long-range pickaxe, and I've got the head done, and I need to start working on the handle, but I haven't actually got around to doing that yet. So if you guys want to see stuff like that, please, please, please let me know, because I will absolutely take a whole bunch of screenshots here in this alpha before the end, and then we'll use those screenshots to build and 3D print some really, really awesome items from the game. The one I think I'm really, really keen to do, other than the long-range pickaxe, is these guys down here, the Lumostone lamps, because I've recently got myself some translucent filament for my 3D printer, which means I can actually print things and have light shine up through those things, and that is going to be really, really quite cool for printing stuff like the lamp. So anyway, that's just kind of quick little rant about the end of the alpha. I am personally just so excited to see what's coming next. Uh, the devs have constantly been improving and upgrading and updating this game. So seeing it go from alpha to beta is going to be amazing. Seeing what they add or what they take away or what they change is going to be really, really awesome. Uh, the only thing that is not going to be awesome is the unfortunate fact we won't be able to play Sky Saga for something like... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be somewhere between a week and a month, I would expect. But I have absolutely no information at this point in time as to how long that delay is going to be. Uh, so yeah, that is kind of this quick little bit. We are going to go out and do some exploring today. I think we're going to go ahead and do the first couple of jungle episodes or the first couple of jungle mastery quests because it's been a little while since I've done those and I already have uh, finished the forest and I've started on the other two so I want to get the start on the jungle as well uh, just to make sure all of that stuff happens and then hopefully over uh, Easter which is this weekend I will get some people together and we'll do a dungeon run and then I can add the dungeon to next week's video and that of course will be a forest dungeon anyway for right now I need to get myself kitted out or kind of kitted out because I don't really have any jungle gear need to get myself all set up and we'll head out into the jungle.
Okay, so here we are in Guild Services, and this is the start of the Jungle Mastery Quest. So we're going to go and talk to Carla the Wealthy and start all of this stuff off. Now, uh, I have, of course, gone through and done this Mastery Quest before, but we're going to go through and do it again. Uh, so my friend Malik has gone missing in the Jungle Realm. I'm trying to stay positive, but I can't help worrying. I am ready. And we get a common jungle sword, some heroic gloves, and keystones. Okay, awesome. Um, uh, no, I do not want to set up a new guild, but that's cool. We're going to go ahead and build up that sword first. Huh, okay. Apparently the door opens when you swing a sword near it. Uh, so we're going to go home and build up a couple of swords first, and then, of course, we're going to go out into the jungle because I really want to uh, take some jungle swords with me rather than this forest sword that I grabbed hold of just in case we didn't get anything that we could use to go on ahead. So I'm going to go build that sword and then we're going to head into the jungle and do the very first quest here which is called Missing. And here we go. Okay so in his final Firehella message uh, Malarak mentioned exploring a lost city. Got it. So gone ahead and I've made two jungle swords because I love the drill wield. I mean it doesn't do anywhere near as much in this alpha as it has done in previous alphas. That is still okay. I am absolutely fine with that. I just love doing the drill wield anyway because it is pretty damn cool and it's something you can really only do in a game like this. And also, I seem to have found something because that is place stone. So, I mean, I don't know what it actually is that I've found, but it's, it's definitely something. <laughs> Let's see if we can find our way up here. Hmm, okay. Or maybe we've just found a random section of place stone. That is very, very odd. I mean, I know that we have random generation going on around here, but that is very, very weird. Um, maybe there was supposed to be something there and it's been overtaken by this hill. I don't know. We'll have to, uh, have, to have a look around and see if we can work it out. But anyway, that looks like the Lost City. So it looks like we're already in the right place, which is pretty damn cool. That's where we started from down there. Hmm. Okay, so I think we're going to zip around the edge here. See if we can find a safer place to drop down, because I don't really want to lose a whole bunch of health that it's going to take to drop off there. And look, here you go. There's some more placed stone. Hmm. Maybe somebody else has been in this world before us. That is potentially the other option here, because, uh, of course, that would be one way that there could be other placed stone around the place, other than the actual Ren generation being really, really weird. Uh, so, nope, we are not going down there. Um, this just seems to be more and more cliffy the further around we go. Uh, and even more place don't. I, I don't know what's going on. That is super weird. Um, okay, so there are mobs down there. There are place stone and things over here. However, there's also water, but if I jump into the water, I'm going to have to climb back up that cliff face, which is a bit of a pain. I really wanted to be able to jump into the water and then swim to that area of land. Although, aha, here we go, there's a tree stump here that might, yeah, the tree stump's going to let us down. Here we go. Just like that. Look at that. No, no damage taken. Beautiful. Okay. Broadleaf plant, apparently. It's kind of cool that you get these um, new notifications popping up telling you what everything is. Whoa, get out of there. Nice little quick dodge around him, because that was very painful. Especially considering I'm not actually wearing gear right now. I'm just wearing the pilot suit that you start the game in, which isn't really all that great as armor. It's just kind of clothing, realistically. Um, so we're going to have a quick look around. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be all that much around here. There might be a few of these uh, regional jungle ambers, but that over there is what we're actually having to look into. So I think we'll just head straight into the Lost City. Okay, so here we go. I just need to find the entrance to this place, which I'm assuming... Yeah, here we go. I think we've got the entrance over here. Or perhaps we don't. Perhaps we've just got a whole bunch of mobs. That's fun too, I guess. <laughs> totally not what I was after. 
But I guess we're just gonna have to deal with this huge mass of people. Um, although, charge attack, come on, let me, let me, yes, here we go. Plowing on through them. Very nice. Gotta love that charge attack. It's probably one of my favorite little additions to the combat scene here. Um, obviously, it's taken the place of some other stuff that happened in combat in previous alphas, but it's still pretty cool and it does feel very, very powerful, which I guess is the whole point of it, realistically. Um, it's also very, very useful. So, yeah, no, no real complaints there. So here we go. This is... Uh, the kind of main section of the Lost City, and of course there is the stairway down, because everything goes down in this game, pretty much. There was a couple of maps originally, uh, all the way back in like Alpha 3 and Alpha 4, that would go up rather than go down, but they seem to have uh, been removed because when you go down you can put a lot more stuff uh, in under the ground, and you can make it very lengthy and rabbit warreny. whereas going up you've only got kind of as much room as you've got in the building. So, here we go, we've got a search for Malarak in the end chamber. Okay, so that means this is our dungeon, and we're gonna have to go all the way through and take on, maybe take on a boss to uh, complete this particular little quest. Although, I'm just gonna say, this is pretty cool. It's a bit of a, a jungly take, I guess, on the dungeon entrance, and it looks pretty damn awesome. Um, yeah, very nice. Overgrown ruins. Cool. Also, that guy is not cool. The the shield guys are just the biggest pain, but we can kick him. Yeah, there we go. And then, when he's off balance, he takes extra damage and he gets stuck in a wall. Oh, that's nice. That was very nice indeed. I really do like it when they get kind of off balance and a little bit stuck because that makes my life a whole lot easier. Anyway, we're going to sleep on up here and continue into this dungeon. Let's uh, let's see what the next kind of interesting bit is. Although that is pretty cool. I like the I like the stairwell build here. Very nice. <laughs> All right, let's let's check out the next kind of landmark area around here. Uh, yeah, that might actually be it in front of us. Does indeed appear to be the gallery. Here we go. So there's a chest over here. Of course, there are lots of mobs around me. I'm just going to ignore them for half a second. Well, I mean, I guess I'm taking them on now, but I wanted to uh, get that chest first and to finish that little bit off. Um, all right, so here we go. Charge attack this guy. Bam! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the uh, daggers are probably, I think, still one of the highest damage per second weapons in the game. So those little dagger-wielding guys can be quite painful if you let them get up close to you and uh, stay there for any length of time. So it's always a good idea just to make sure that they uh, they taste the, the end of the blade pretty quickly, because otherwise they do get a little annoying. Anyway, moving on through this little dungeon to the end chamber. So beautiful. We are now at the end chamber. We'll actually just make sure we get a proper rest, you know, by laying on top of the fire. That's totally <laughs> healthy and safe for us. And here we go. We have the end chamber and it looks like there is indeed a big boss man in there. Oh, and the boss man has a shield. Why? Why does the boss man have a shield? Ah, oh, don't like the shields. Oh, well, we'll, we'll get him. We'll get him, that's for sure. Alright, so we've got kind of two groups, both with a shield. You can go away first. There we go. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> nice. So, got past that shield kind of briefly, but that did work for us a little bit. Uh, and now we've got a charge attack. Jump back, charge the attack. Yes! Oh, and we missed everybody. That that was not great. That was probably the worst charge attack I've ever done. But that's okay. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Now we've got the boss to deal with. Kick the boss. Oh, good. The boss can be kicked. I like that. I really do like that. That was very good. And the boss does not seem to want to put the, the shield back up. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to charge attack. Charge attack. Why? Yeah. Charge attacks, man, they are the way to play this game, 
for sure. If you're not using your charge attacks well, you're making fights a lot more difficult than they need to be. Uh, obviously, I mean, I guess really only for the big guys and maybe even really only for the swords. The swords are definitely the best thing to have a charge attack on them, or at least the best use of a charge attack, I guess I should say. Be interesting to see somebody use like a big weapon to build a charge attack really quickly and then swap to like swords or something to unleash that charge attack. Uh, because, as I said, the, the swords kind of do the most damage with a charge attack. So, I'm just going to quickly hunt for... There we go. <laughs> We're seeing a little chest up on the minimap and was like, wait, what? Where is that? So, I had to, uh, had to do a quick little run around to make sure I could find the thing and uh, get moving on through. We'll just quickly double check the downstairs area down here, make sure there's no other chests that I've left behind. Because I do that from time to time and that is not all that great. Uh, but looks like we've got them all. I might just do a quick check upstairs as well. Although there's usually not all that many chests up here. There's just the end chest up here. Yeah, there we go. That side there's nothing and I am willing to bet there is absolutely nothing on the other side either. Yep, nothing over there. Okay, so it is time to crack open the main chest and see if we can find signs of Malrak. Uh, huh. Answering the fire hailer. According to Malrak's note, uh, Euron might be in trouble. The good news is that I remember where she was headed. Got it. People's uh, memory around here is quite exceptional. And, ah, I didn't get to read the note. They took it off me. No! <laughs> ah, well, I guess that's, that's a bit of a shame, but, you know, I guess we'll just not get to read that note. It would be nicer if we actually, like, had a chance to read the notes before getting fire hailer messages, but that's okay. Anyway, let's move on, go back and speak to uh, Kala, and I might be butchering that name, and then we'll see what is up next for the Jungle Mastery Quest. So, what is up next? Let's take a look. Uh, not only Marilak, but Yaren too. What's going on? I need to track her down. Oh, I need you to track her down, I guess. I can do it. Okay, well, I guess I can do it. Um, so here we go, we're now uh, on our way into the Jungle Mastery quest. But what I'm actually thinking is that I'm going to leave this episode here for this week, just because I'm kind of running out of time to record this and get this all done. And it's been a good little start to all of this. Obviously, we're not going to get this or any of the other Mastery quests completed because we've only got a week or two weeks left before the end of the Alpha. But that is okay, I'm just going to, uh, I think we're going to start doing some more challenges, I guess, when we go through and do these types of adventures. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed that one, and I will see you in the next video.